Hello, everyone out there in YouTube world, Facebook world, internet world, the world, wherever you might be watching this here. Today, welcome to another episode of Musings with MGL. I am your host, as always, MGL. I'd like to thank you for tuning into this episode. As always, if you like what I have to say, please click the subscribe button at the bottom. Click the little bell to get notifications when I uh, post videos. Give me a comment, give me a like and share, etc., etc. All that really helps me uh, grow this channel, which is kind of what I like to do. So uh, if you've got a second, please take your time to do that. Today's episode, I'm going to talk, I'm going to delve into the legal world again. As everybody knows, I am a lawyer and I tend to specialize in Second Amendment law. The G and MGL stands for gun and the L stands for lawyer. So um, gun lawyer is what a lot of people call me. It's kind of what I do. So I'm going to give a topic here today or talk about a topic here today that I must get questions on probably every week. Okay, It's been a hot topic for several years now, and that is can you have a medical marijuana card and a firearm? In other words, is it still legal to possess a firearm or to buy firearms from a store or and exercise your Second Amendment rights if you need to get a medical marijuana card? The bottom line question or bottom line answer to that is no. I mean that that's all there is to it. The answer the answer is no. Let me walk you through why that is, because that's always the follow-up question, obviously, is why that is. So, right now, in America, under federal law, marijuana is still considered to be a controlled substance, okay? It's considered to be a scheduled uh, controlled substance that you're not allowed to use, okay? It doesn't matter what your state says. If your state has passed a law that says marijuana is legal, if your state has passed a law that says you can have a medical marijuana card, that's great for you and that's great for your state and that's great for you to be able to use those things recreationally or medically depending on what the law is in your state. However, that is your state's position on the issue. The federal government's position on the issue is it's still illegal to use marijuana. Okay, And under federal law, in order to possess a firearm, you must not be what's called a prohibited person. A prohibited person is anyone who has a felony conviction, has a conviction for a crime of domestic battery, has ever been involuntarily civilly committed for a mental health issue, and a person who is a user of unlawful user of marijuana okay that is one of the things that's on the list of prohibited person an unlawful user of marijuana and as i said as far as the federal government is concerned it doesn't matter what your state law is if you're using marijuana it's illegal it is unlawful and therefore you are a prohibited person okay so the federal firearms act is going to trump no pun intended the state law when it comes to marijuana, okay? So, the bottom line is, is if you are using marijuana for whatever the reason, medical or recreational, you are considered a prohibited person under federal law. And in order to possess a firearm, you cannot be a prohibited person under federal law. Therefore, ergo, one plus one equals two, you can't possess a firearm, whether you have a medical marijuana license or not. Um, you can't pass a background check because when you go into a, a store, obviously everybody knows they have to fill out the 4473 background check form. That's the federal form um, to allow you to purchase a firearm. One of the questions on the form is, are you an unlawful user of marijuana? You have to mark yes. I, I don't want to hear it. People try and argue with me all the time, but it's not unlawful because my state says I can have it. We just went over that. It doesn't matter what your state says. As far as the federal government is concerned, it is unlawful for you to use marijuana in any capacity, medical or otherwise. So if you are taking medical marijuana and you fill out a background check form, you have to mark yes to the question, 
are you an unlawful user of marijuana? Because the federal government deems you to be an unlawful user of medical medical of marijuana, whether it's for medical purposes or not. So you have to mark yes on that form. The minute you mark yes on that form, guess what? You won't pack a background pass a background check. And if you mark no on that form, and they find out that you have a medical marijuana card or are using marijuana, now you have committed a serious crime, a serious felony, most likely in your state, and certainly a federal crime for lying on a background check form. So there's no way to get around that fact when you purchase a gun from a shop uh, because you have to fill out the background check form and you have to mark yes for that answer. And if you mark no for that answer and you have a medical marijuana card, you are lying and committing a felony by marking no. So so you're stuck, rock in a hard place. You don't have a choice. Now, the question always becomes, what if I have a medical marijuana card, but I'm not currently taking the marijuana? Like, I got the card for it, but I'm just not taking it right now because my back doesn't hurt or or my, you know, cancer is in remission or whatever. The problem with that is, is that the government, the federal government, and a lot of the courts out there have basically come to the determination that if you have a medical marijuana card, there is a presumption that you are using the marijuana. OK, you, you can't split that hair. You, you, you can't ride that line of I have a card, but I'm not currently taking it because then they're going to say, well, then why do you have the card? You should surrender your card and turn it in. So if you have a card, as far as the government is concerned, there's a presumption that you're using the marijuana. Therefore, if you have a card, you can't have a gun because you're a prohibited person and you will not pass a background check without lying on the form and opening yourself up to other other statute or to other crimes and it's not again it's not just about purchasing it's possessing as well okay you would you will again i can't i can't make it any more simpler than this if you are using marijuana in any capacity the federal government deems you to be a prohibited person and prohibited people cannot possess or purchase firearms so if you want a medical card and you want to be a law-abiding citizen, you have to make a choice between your health and your Second Amendment rights. It's not fair. I don't agree with it. I think it's crap. Um, as a libertarian-minded person, I think marijuana laws are stupid. It should be legal across the board. I think most drugs should probably be legal across the board. Again, as a marijuana or as a marijuana person, as a um, Libertarian person, I, I'm not in favor of the war on drugs and all that kind of stuff. I'm an individual responsibility guy, so I don't agree with a lot. You know, pretty much all of the gun or med- drug laws. I certainly don't agree with federal drug laws because, like uh, most libertarians, I'm all about uh, federalism and states can do whatever they want. But uh, that's not the world we live in. That's not the reality. So I disagree with with the law in this matter. But my job is to tell you what the law is, and the law is you can't smoke marijuana recreationally and own a gun or possess a gun and you can't take it medically and possess a gun you just can't until the federal government amends their uh, drug law to remove marijuana from the schedules you can't do it and that's the only fix that that's literally the only fix for this the only fix for this is for them to uh, i guess there's two fixes they could go back into the the firearms act and remove people who use marijuana from the prohibited person list or they can remove marijuana from the controlled substance list those are the only two ways that this situation can get solved it's the only way that the only two ways that it's going to happen until one of those two things happens it doesn't matter what your state law is it doesn't matter what your you know local laws is it doesn't matter what you're using the medical marijuana for you cannot uh, use that and possess a firearm. And mo- that you also goes with concealed carry permits, okay? Now, concealed carry permit laws vary from state to state. So the fact that you can't own a firearm, that's that's federal. So that applies to anybody in all 50 states. Depending on the state law for your concealed carry license, you know, there may be some wiggle room in some of those state laws. So I'm not going to go into telling you whether you can have a specific uh, CCW in a specific state. I'll tell you in the state of Florida where I am, Florida. it's the same answer. The answer is no, because in order to get a concealed carry permit, you, you once again can't be a prohibited person, and you're considered a prohibited person as far as the federal government is concerned. And when you do your application 
for a concealed carry permit. It's basically the same uh, background check form that you have to fill out to buy a gun. They ask the same question. Are you an unlawful user of uh, medical marijuana or marijuana? And it's the same answer. You have to say yes, because under federal law, uh, you are. So I am of the position as a lawyer in Florida that in Florida, you cannot have a medical marijuana card and a concealed carry permit. There are some other lawyers who may tell you differently. There's some some fringe style lawyers out there that disagree with that and think that you can. Um, some of our politicians disagree with that and think of what you can or think that you can. I, I totally disagree. And I think that they're wrong. I, I think it's clear. And most of the other lawyers that I, I know in Florida who practice in this area of law have the same position that you can't. You can't possess both a medical marijuana card and a concealed carry permit. And you certainly can't possess a firearm. Even if you have a concealed carry permit, it defeats the whole purpose because you can have, okay, so let's say you can have a permit, but you still can't carry a gun because the federal law says you can't possess a firearm and the federal law trumps your state concealed carry permit law. So it doesn't matter. So the bottom line is, the answer is no. I get this question. Like I said, I get this question almost every week. People are always asking me about it. Somebody messaged me and, if, and asked if I can do a video about this topic. So I did. You can look up uh, the laws for yourself. There's all kinds of articles out there that have been written about this. It's, it's kind of a known fact for a while, but a lot of people still don't really know what the answer is. Um, but do some research online. You're going to find all kinds of articles and, and newspaper articles and blogs written by lawyers and stuff telling you what it is. But uh, bottom line is you got to choose my friends, you have to choose between your marijuana, no matter how you get it, and your guns. Because uh, right now in America, under the, the federal law, you cannot have both. So that's the long answer to a short question. Uh, if you have any other issues, if you disagree with me or something, please comment down below. But that's my opinion. I'm not going to change it no matter how many uh, high news articles you send me or how many uh, uh, medical marijuana shops uh, websites that you link me to. I've seen them and they're, they're just wrong. They're not lawyers. Um, they're just wrong. They just want to do their business. So there you have it. Thanks again for watching Musings with MGL. Uh, don't smoke marijuana. If you need it for medical reasons, look, you're just going to have to make your decision on what's, what's more important to you right now, your health or um, your firearms. And that's just a decision everybody's going to have to make. So in the meantime, like, share, subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching. Again, if you have any other questions like this, co uh, comment below and, and give me a topic and I'll be more than happy to do a video on it. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, stay safe, uh, stay healthy, stay vigilant, and as always, carry on. But don't smoke marijuana at the same time.